What's up guys and welcome to today's video where the pre-spawn jerkbait bite on Lake Erie was on fire. Fish on! That's a toe, brother. Golly! Coffee is coming in real handy right now. I'm wet from my head to my toes and everywhere in the middle. But it's cool because it's like 45 degrees. It's not that big a deal. It's all good. And with 30 mile an hour wind, so it's like a wind chill of like 37 degrees. It's all good. Big cold front came in last night. It's exactly what you want, right? Cold front the night before, 30 mile an hour wind. Why not go shoot a video? <laughs> the story of my life in 2021, but guess what? I'm not gonna complain, you wanna know why? Cause it's not 2020 anymore. That's why. All right. <laughs> Had enough of this playing around. Let's actually do some work. <sighs> fish want to spawn literally right where our boat's at right now but because obviously we got weather that's not conducive for that they have to get into areas where they can hold up when this colder weather rolls through so we're going to target them in those areas we're going to play with some fun stuff actually i'll throw a jerk bait too and then probably going to throw a little moving stuff i'll give you a jerk bait actually because that'll work good for you. yeah gotta have purple gotta have a little purple baby and they always have to get as literally stuck as possible. It's called Elegy Bone Mega Bass. If you don't have one, you probably should. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're up here chasing some Great Lake Smallies with my boy John. Now we're gonna catch some more. <laughs> we are up here on Presque Isle Bay outside of great city of Erie. I'm hucking big old chandelier rig. I got my boy Chad back there throwing a jerk bait. We're gonna lean on a few today, you know, setting up for these fish that are getting ready to spawn. So stay tuned and let's see what happens. So that just shows you that edge and you can actually see it looks like beds right there, honestly. Those little circles. Those could be individual beds that those fish are setting up on. Uh, the males will be on there. Maybe that's what we're catching right now. Maybe those fish the other day when we had that warm front started making beds, and that's why he's catching those males up on that flat. But I'd really like to get on some of these females that I know are out here cruising around. But you just kind of have to figure out what they're setting up on, whether it's a specific weed clump or whether it's just a specific windblown zone that they're setting up on. So we're going to move around a little bit. But yeah, that's kind of what we're setting up on right there. Because it's all sand up on there, and this is all like a grass flat. Just had one thump it, son. Nice. I think he bodied it though, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, it's also, you got that braid on there too sometimes. Yeah, no. I'd... That'd be some rookie stuff you're talking about where I just couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> <sighs> I would like some dry britches though, I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, dude, that uh, window, that, I, I get it right. I should have brought some uh, a rain suit. I only have seven of them in my Yeti bag back at the... <laughs> Back of the room, but they they stay dry while we made the ride out here. Yeah, don't worry. The I really wish we could have brought you guys the video, but it was so bad that Matt was down on the floor doing some weird crouching tiger hidden dragon thing, oh, trying yeah. not to get his back broke. I mean, we still got to go back through it. <laughs> yeah, we just don't have anything to film it with. Should have brought my GoPro. Pretty sure I have it in the truck. Maybe we can go get it and then go back. Oh, there we go. Uh oh, on the pause, baby. That's why I think they named the jerkbait wrong. Heck yeah, dude. There he goes. Yeah. Look at that football, son. That football right there. Where are them big girls at? Great Lake Smallies. This is exactly what we're looking for, only smaller. Okay. 
So Chad, you want to give the people a little idea on what you're doing with that jerk bait? Yeah, man. So I like to do a kind of a erratic cadence with a jerk bait. And when you're fishing shallow or you're fishing edges or ledges, one of the things I like to do with a jerk bait is put a little bit heavier fluorocarbon on. So I've actually got a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, 30 pound power pro, because that fluorocarbon helps get it down, but when you stop it, it keeps it from rising. Now these mega bass don't rise as much as some of the kind of lower end jerk baits do, but I really love taking these jerk baits and throwing them out there and snatch, snatch paws. And what I actually do is I say, I want to catch a small mouth between the, that's my how long I pause it. And sometimes they just wreck it. Actually, I probably get as many big small mouth wreck it sitting still as I do moving. So I think they've actually named the bait wrong. They should call it a pause bait because yeah, you jerk it, but it's the pause that's the important part. And also that's probably why those males are crushing it. Cause when it's sitting still, when they're guarding on beds, a lot of times if something's moving on through, they'll just let it go. But if it sits there, and it doesn't look like it's leaving and they want to get it away from the bed, they'll run up and knock the fire out of it. That's probably why I foul hooked that first one too. But after getting soaked to make it out there, trust me when I tell you, I will catch some angry males just to, uh, just to make up for it. There you go. That's what's up. For those of you who don't know what a Minn Kota Altrex is, you should. <laughs> I can click that button right there and we're just gonna sit here. Got a snot running down my face, but I also got fish. Let's see if we can put a hook in our hand today. Little old male got that crush across his face. Just a little guy, but hey, I'll take him. We're not in the tournament, we're just out here fun fishing. And you can see that guy's got some, some beat up paint on it. Go catch another one. Here's what I got to say about the cold. No hair, don't care. No hair, don't care, baby. It's National No Hair, Don't Care Day. Got it? Yep. Not a big one. On a swim bait, though. Another little guy, another male. He choked it, though. I'm gagging on that swim bait. That rod's actually awesome. Another little guy, little males, man, little males. The problem we're having is those females, they feel like they gotta be here, but also with the weather, it'd be really hard to go target them in deeper water right now because they're gonna be on specific pieces of structure in specific areas. And just with how windy it is, it would be a pain to try to do that right now. Um, so we're just gonna grind it out up shallow because that's the best chance we have of actually catching numbers of fish and then running into a, a big one here and there. So we're gonna try to keep putting that together. Like I said, we're just fishing these depressions. And those fish are getting ready to do their dirty, but we're just gonna keep playing with some baits. I'm gonna keep playing with baits. Chad's gonna throw a jerk bait because that's the only rod he has. Because I fish dumb handed and he fishes right. So we're gonna keep doing that. They're here, man. They're here. There we go. There we go. The old Great Lake Smalley, son. They built different here. They built different. Bang. You all of, you all of a sudden get seven degrees warmer for every fish that you catch. I would so, say that's an accurate statistic. If you're ever freezing, you got two choices. Well, you got three choices. Catch a fish, drink some whiskey, or go home. And you know I ain't going home, so. I zoom it in on the front basically when I'm fishing so that way I can see like right where I'm at. And this darker is kind of where it drops off a little bit, but you can see there's a log right there that otherwise I wouldn't have known was there. And then if you look over here, you can actually see like this edge right here. That's actually where this basin starts to come up. 
So that lets me know, and these each are 25 feet. I have this set at 100, or this is 80 feet, these are 20. So you can see like how far away you are from everything while you're going down the bank. That's like one of the biggest tools to make you more efficient on the water is this 360 because it allows me to see everything that's around me. So it's just like one of the, one of the tools that you need to be effective. Like it changed how I make waypoints for everything because typically if I just had standard down imaging, I would need to make the waypoint exactly on the piece of cover. Say if there was a rock pile, I would have to go into my side imaging when I'm idling it and mark exactly where that rock pile was. Versus now, because I have that 360 up here, all I have to do is just mark a waypoint around it because I'm gonna be able to get up closer because I'm gonna get off pad further away from it, ease up onto it. I can go, oh, okay, it's 45 feet a little bit this way. So I'll, it makes it so much easier and more efficient. It's just cool stuff. Dude, oh, that guy's mean. He's side hooked. He don't know he ain't that big. That might even be your four pounder. We're gonna have to certifiable it. <laughs> but I got a scale on the boat, so we're gonna have to check it on that. All right. Did I, we make it? I did. Did we make it? A four pounder. So we're gonna have to see. Let's see what all the people say. What do you think it is? Let me see. Turn it sideways. Three six. Sure about that? Yeah. Four seven. Is it four seven? Yeah. Come on. A big old gut on it. Congrats. That'll do it right there, son. Big old belly on her. Those are the ones we're out here for. That's four six for real? That's what it says, and I just calibrated it the other day. I mean, I it put, does have a big old belly on it. I put so. my mom's walking weight on it and everything. It said it was five pounds, and it said 5.1. He just had my mom's walking weight. I did. I had her walking <laughs> weight on there, man. Well, this dude right here is a lot like the smallmouth we've been catching. A little package, but a lot of fight in him, bro. I'll tell you what, it was fun. So guys, listen, do me a favor, and this guy is a rising star, I promise you. He's got the personality, he's got the skills, he's got the knowledge. His name's John Dietz. I'll put all of his links to all of his socials in the uh, description box below. Y'all go get this knucklehead a follow. And if you're up here in the Great Lakes area, if you're around the Fish USA store, Ask him to give you his number, tell him to give you a call, maybe he'll bring you out on the boat and let you lay the smack down on some smallmouth like we did today. Heck yeah, man, so, dude. It was an awesome day. Anyway, John Dietz. Great note. Great Lake smallmouth. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a favor and help support the channel by downloading the Fishing Chaos app now so you can get in on the action.